Welcome back to our everyday living everyone. Uh, we're off for a good start and we got a couple out of a couple of places, not much. This is an interesting find. Gonna probably scrap it out or probably use it myself, I don't know. Find out what it is. It's a nice clean, very clean, some sort of acrylic um, adhesive hard seal adhesive so it might be something to do with flooring or something like that yeah I'll probably clean that out I might use it for something myself it's got a good seal on it I don't mind these sort of containers good for sealing up say if you want to go out camping and that sort of thing you want to keep things dry you know, I can't get it tanned to things closed There we go. That's how good of a seal it is. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, and we've got all of these to go through. That one I know is empty. This one here's got a little bit in it. Not much. But we'll get two straight in. I get in it feels empty so I'll take it that's all I get out of there done a bit of a no-no last week on this place here I closed up one of these lids like the bin was full put an elastic strap of hook around there and back around underneath here and back around there I don't know whether the bin got emptied or not <laughs> I'll take that stubby cooler <laughs> so I'm a bit of a mystery the owner's not here I can't ask him been on my mind all, all week <laughs> am I allowed to come back <laughs> the only stuff up though my only stuff up so far which is good the deal is I can go through his bins as long as I put his bins out that's a good deal that one I reckon Yeah. And the amount of things that I have found in them is just, just unreal too. Well, they're only pizza boxes. Someone loved their pizza there. Pizza Maria.
Mm, that's a heavy bottle for a bottle of water. Because it's full. Here's another bottle of water. No label. Ah, we got one of these bags, have we? They moved out. Moved out and moved on, I reckon. What the devil is that stuff? Dunno. Stay in there. That's got a big ass crack in it. How about we just pour the bag out? There we go. Empty. Empty. That's one of those no ones. Take that bolt. I might even use that as a bolt container. Scrub, that's still got some in it. Devil of those things. Oh, wire connectors. Surprising, yeah. What can we say? You never know what you'll find. Bin is a mystery. Always a mystery bag. You never know what you'll find. The old saying goes, life is like a box of chocolates. I don't know the rest of it, but <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm going to spray that. have the tea. It's not the tea I drink. Well how come one of those went through before? Well put it in, we'll find out. Twenty cents. I'll grab twenty cents. I'll grab that. These people just don't care about money. They throw it in the bin, even. I just keep finding it. Better for me. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm not listening to that. Uh, we haven't got much to go here. I'll try and use it so it's only two bins. That one and this one. 
if this has got no, no grotty stuff in the bottom, I won't be doing the same, same as what I've done last week though. Leaving the strap on the thing. Yes, but the sounds a bit near. Wow, one mouthful on that other way. It's unreal, isn't it? And that is the big without tearing it apart. Hey, that's good. So that's that bin. Filled him up, or put him behind. Put him out later. I'm going to fill this one up. I'm not tipping that out. Like I said, nothing in that. This bin's a lot cleaner. Nothing in that bag. Nothing in that bag. Not easy to feel the bag than trying to tip it out and make a mess. But if the bag's already open, nose win. Yep, and that one will return that one. And we'll get into that. Okay. Good. <laughs> Wow! They didn't feel that heavy dragging them out, I tell you. So I don't sort none of them out in, in there. No, I just bring it out to the car. I don't open none of it. I think we've done the right thing. Oh, they broke that one. I can't take that one. Well, you can't park in there, love. Sorry.
quick this morning. Very quickly. Might be a short video for everyone today. Might be. Not saying it will. to hook these up put the bins back and get on to the next place picking picking up for those of more this morning here we're running around to do yeah I'm in there too Time to wake the neighbours up. <laughs> With all my clang, 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 clang. I put the bucket in the front. I'll grab me, grab it before I bury it. Just in case of one I used. <coughs> right, now I'm going to get into which bin's the best one. Probably this one. Maybe first off the branks. First of the ranks is worth the best. Always the best. Probably got the least in it. Tissue boxing. <laughs> Nothing in that. Food scrap. One inside that. One inside that. One with the least in it. Oh, that might have been a good idea poking that in there. Let's see if that still goes through. You don't know until you start putting it through the machine. Barcode's on it, that's the main thing. Did I say there was one in that? Yes, it's right there. No, it mightn't be right there. What the devil is that? Food scraps. Or is it that one there? No, there's nothing in that. Nothing in that. One there. Three here, actually. Oops. Way. Got pizza boxes. Got a little bin down here, but got empty too. That's from the barbecue. And then that. Put them there. Darkies, that was squishy. Nothing in 
on it. Give it a good old roll, didn't I? Out okay, of this one. Empty him out, that's the barbecue one done. Sit him down there. Morning. Full bottle of water. Oh, drink and water a strawberry patch. She got four strawberries on that. She's happy. <laughs> I'm very happy she's got four on it. The old strawberry patch she was just about dead when we got it. It's one of those things that I didn't think it'd come alive again. But it did. It came alive. I'm not gonna dig my head down into those bushes. Unless I have to. I think I might have to. Might just pull the bag. Pull the bag. That's the guy. Pull the bag. Ah, sticks. Sticks and stones will break my bags. Old bin's never gonna hurt me. <laughs> That's a stupid joke. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, hang on to that glass. It's not a glass, it's a candle. Oh, hang on to that, but you. I said to her she's got to start melting them down. A real lame joke that was. Sticks and stones break my bones. Things never gonna hurt me. That's a lame one, that one. <laughs> well, I suppose it's true. The bin will never hurt you, it'll just smell you out. Bring this one over here. That's not full yet. Get rid of that onion. A bit on those, the old onion. I'll go through those two in a minute. I just want to the bin. Pretty clean bin, this one. And then that one, oh, there's a couple there. 
Griffith, mate. So it's worth the driving up here. Oh yeah, I'll probably go home with a three quarter load today. Yeah. Yesterday I came home with, I'll just move me, move that. This was there, there yesterday. And that's just from Darlington Point? Ah, uh, no. Darlington Point and Kajildry Weir. The Weir? Kajildry Weir, out the Weir. Oh, where's that? That's a caravan park. I didn't know that. Where do you get there? Um, well you go through Winton, yeah, and then you head, head towards Leeton. Oh right. Yeah, on the back road. Right. Or you can go the main road and it'll still shoot you down there anyway. Oh. Yeah, you can go out there. It's actually nice out there, because this river actually comes from there. Yeah, yeah. And goes out towards Narandra and Wagga and that sort of thing. So yeah. yeah. But no, they take bookings out there as well. Um, they're all open now, so... That's if you're interested. <laughs> Give a bit of PA for them, eh? <laughs> There's one there. There's more than one in there. Oh, you got a pair of socks in here. I'll take that sock if it's in, if I've got the mate. There's the mate. Hey, I'll fit into those. Give them a wash. That'd be great. I don't bleach them. Why? It takes the colour out. I've got a bread delivery too today. I'm going to put that there. I'm on there. Right. You will put that into there and this bin's empty then. good enjoying life that's it life's a good life like the old saying goes the happy wife happy life wives if the wife is happy you'll have a happy life if you've got a wife spouse partner etc I'm not too bad for a head in the bin. <laughs> You're doing pretty good, actually. Hey, I went home with a good load yesterday. Did you? Yeah, couldn't close that. From here? Or anywhere? No, it was from Darlington Point itself and Kajiratri Weir. Wow. Out of the Weir. Good and that's, you. I do that basically Mondays and Tuesdays only in the week. That's it. The rest of the week, because I've got a caretaker's job, you see. 
so I'm, I come from Griffith all the way out here just to get, get this stuff. So how much would you get for a boot? Uh, for a normal load like yesterday, I'll probably average about 90 to 110 dollars. That's nothing to sneeze at. Not for four hours. No. <laughs> I you. <laughs> hey, when you add it up per hour over that four hours, you think there's money to be made. You just got to know where to get it, who to ask, because I do an almond farm too. And I put it all on YouTube. Good on you. So that's what this is. <laughs> You're not on it, but your voice is. <laughs> Same to you, love. Oh, I'll tell you that, Spanner. Certainly got to know how much you get to in the day, whether it's going to be worthwhile. And everyone knows I do locally in Griffin when I can. Whenever means possible. Oh, there's another spinner. Push bike spanner, say, huh? They're not the best, they only made out of alloy. <laughs> There's another spender down there. Spanners in the front, put uh, that one back and that one wherever I want to put it, and we'll get going up here. There's a few more there, there's one over the tree, another one up there, and more on the side, and I'm going to go down there. Alright, let's get into these. Oh dear. Maybe, maybe yes. Oh, get off me. Is this two? They go around the curtains. Oh, he's got a creepy crawly in him. Get him out of there. I don't want him in the car. He's gone, I think. Put him there for now. That's a good box. Because it's got no lid, it wet the box. We got a lot of soup in the bottom of this. The old weekend rain went a bit, at least about an inch over the weekend. Rivers on the rise too. I'll show everyone that. It's the blood of the town beach. Oh 
can't see any more down there. None in that bag now. I think we got him. I don't want to put my Pretty much of a bust of a bin, wasn't it? How about? Yeah, I'll do these first before I do that one. That way I've got a bin empty at the end. Total bust on this one too. <laughs> Dust. Let it settle. Oh, the breath! I know you just can't see the dust, but it's shocking. Oh, Ooh, I lost that one. Just trying to get the bag out at the moment. I wish they'd put ashes elsewhere. Not in these. <coughs> no wonder I choke. Could be half my problem with me coffin and God knows what else. I'm breathing it in too much. Doesn't help having a mask on either. Could stop it. They don't. Yeah, you can take that one, Luke. Go for your life, mate. She's empty. It won't be. <laughs> when he gets to it, it won't be empty. <laughs> right. I've got this one and this one to put through. So I'll try and fill this one first. He's off. Misses is in. Take a wine bottle.
take that. Take these springs too. They come in handy. better days yeah dog do could have put it in a bag. Would have been more sensible. Oh, that's what they are. Chills. Wonder what the hard stuff was. Someone got this little of Weber, Weber Coo. Pretty good, as yourself. That's one over there, and the pool going at Ben is gold. We filled it up for you. I didn't know there was one over there. It's gold. Go miss that one. <laughs> I wouldn't have noticed until I was leaving. <laughs> Thanks for that, anyway. There you go. I didn't know there was a bin there either. <laughs> Ooh, better pick them up. Oh, that sounds shocking. Oh, well, this one's full, that one's full. Pick up that. Put it in there, one more to go here. We might have to go around and grab that one before we move from here. Ah, that way. Uh, 
too many bins to fix up. That's a full gas can. That way we've got somewhere to put the rubbish in this one here. Bend that one in there, I reckon. Right. Went and got the other bin from over in the corner, and I'll tell you what, they're not wrong. I think they've had some sore heads this morning. Probably not legal for driving, but anyway, that's not my problem. <laughs> Because a lot of expenses is fuel, food and accommodation if you're staying on grid. What I mean by on grid, power and that sort of thing. June and I, we go totally off grid, depend on ourselves, we don't depend on anyone. we got the solar on top of the caravan and that sort of thing and we don't need to worry about checking into a caravan car, which is a bonus someone's shoes size 10 we ain't got anyone that's a size 10 not in our family or any of our distant family they have to go bye boys. They're only a Kmart brand anyway. Cheapo imports. That's what I call them. All comes from China or Hong Kong. I don't know whether I'm shrinking or the bins are getting taller. <laughs> I must be shrinking. Because I don't think plastic can grow. Bugger. Damn, there's a lot in this. That's a wine bottle. Nothing else in that one.
everyone at home, how many beer bottles can you fit in one hand? Let us know in the comments. Bit of a task for everyone. They can be full, they can be empty, it doesn't matter. If they're full, well, well if, even if they're empty, you can leave the lids on. Let us know in the comments. Play a bit of a game. I'll see if I can match it. And I'll let you know. Maybe long necks. Could be stubbies. Could be a standard drink even, it doesn't matter. Be glass. Get your, get your kids in on it too. Make a game in. So yeah, just see how many you can put in your hand. In one hand. I know I can fit close to five. I've been trying to do six. You only got five fingers, so I've been trying to do six. I've been trying to work it out. I can't grow an extra finger. that we'll get on to the next lot oh they've been finally oh no I can fix that yes it's finally broke it finally broke it'll be a bin, lidless bin shortly yeah, we got some families in here so we got some drinkers in Let's get this rubbish rolling. Yeah, we might go home with a three quarter load. That's heavy, because it's still got some in it too. What is it, a wine? Wine, zero. Yeah, no wine's got zero alcohol. It's a load of shit. You got some sort of alcohol in them. So I've got to bend down, he's got to bend over, not me. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm not going to keep that. Alright. Any rubbish in the bag, I'll leave it And I'll empty this out.
We may have to put our cans through this week, I don't know. Won't know until today. We're already up to, uh, uh truth. 14, 15, 16 bags. Oh, I had to count there for a minute. <laughs> and they're big bags. They stand this high, those bags. And they're this big. So 16 of those bags. Almost forget when we put the last lot through. Can't remember how long it's been. People don't like it when I turn up to the machine and they come along with all that, all that amount. Hey, it's the way I do it, that's all. No point going there with one lonely bag. You don't get enough out of it. Well, you, you get the same amount, I suppose, but I like doing it all in one day. Set, a, set it aside. Takes me about four hours to put about 21 bags through, so that's not too bad. That's June and I doing it too. That's that been done. Get on to the next one up here. Good morning. Morning. Got an empty bin here. Hey, we're still getting some out of it though. Hey, that's not a bad singlet, that. Oh, it's got some holes underneath it. Put it in there. Full bottle of water. Another full bottle of water. And one beer bottle. Wow. Let's move on up to these two. Wonder what that is. Looks like some sort of cooker. Pretty good, as yourself. Packing up, are we? It's a bugger when we're all gonna go back to work. <laughs> it's a bugger when we're all gonna go back to work. <laughs> That's it. Uh, just look forward for the next time. That's all you have to do. You think, well, I enjoyed that. I've got to do more of it. <laughs> Play my game. Thank you. Right, I think this is only paper. Got a lot to pack away. I wouldn't cut an antenna like that. Oh, well, we cut a dish. Satellite dish. So, it's just as clumsy, I suppose. Nothing in those bags. Old paper. Heavy. 
Oh, it's a little hippie. Oh, that's why. Dirty diaper. Get rid of the heavy stuff. That one. Wow. Someone had a party. Doggy do on that one. Yeah, get the doggy do off it. Oh, that's a big howdy do. What's wrong with this one? He still looks alright. Yeah, he looks alright. Still got the casing on it. Just give that a pressure wash. there for now. Put this box in there. Like that. Well, I'll take that, that, that. That's falling apart. Bags anyway. <laughs> no, a lot of nuggets in it. Alright, what do we got in this one? Paper, 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 paper. More paper. Probably just paper. Feels heavy. Oh, what the devil? What's that stuff? No label, not chancing it. Yeah, she's sticky stuff. It smells alright though. Oh. 
like that. We'll take it that. That's a fresh one. <coughs> Poo. It's a pooey one. Nothing in that egg. Nothing in that bag. Oh, there's a can right there. Paper back in there first. No label, not taking it. <laughs> Could be anything. Oh, first birthday. Okay, yeah, I'll stay here. We've got no one with little kids or anything. That felt heavy. That's why it felt heavy. Not like that. To this one. Turn that down. Sometimes I wish I didn't have doors. <laughs> Be easier. Ooh, that's a big bottle and no ten cent. I'll take that tray. Put it in the aluminium pile. No, that won't go. That's the sauce. I'll take that bit of steel. Okay, where's your six? Where's your six coronas? Look at these. Berries. Oh, still in the packet. What are they? Blueberries. I might take those. Yeah, still in the packet. Oh, heap of them right here. I don't know whether June needs blueberries. We'll find out today. <laughs> you don't know what that is. It's a bit withered. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take that one. Take all what's in that one. De -de 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 Come on, baby boy. What they buy here? Back another bloody back. Now you watch, in a couple of weeks, I'll have the vacuum cleaner, the old one. I might have to start throwing some vacuum cleaners away myself, or recycling them. That'd probably be the better way, isn't it? Recycle them, don't throw them away. Can't seem to sell them or anything because they've got no hoses. I'm 
put the tie board back in there. Nothing in that. Oh, plenty of box. What was it anyway? Never mind, no, no one knows. Don't win a new, don't win a new, don't win a new. That might mean everyone and just ramble off. Talk to the manager. Oh, put me tray back. Oh, pitch cutter. Zoom zoom. <laughs> hey, if we don't use it, we can always put it in stainless steel. Zoom zoom. On to the next. Wonder what's in this one. Sounds to be a bit of glass. This is pretty empty. I think that's a 10 sender. It is too. much for that one. I don't know what to add in that. I'll get rid of that. Use that as a candle. Let him up there to dry. On to the next one. Cup. That's what that is. And there's not much in that bag. This bag's open. Have a squeezy inside. Nothing in that one. We're pretty much slim pickings. We only got a half a load today. Ah oh, well. Doesn't matter. How much you get? Yeah. I'll find them. Right there. I dropped it. You're dropping. I got him. Come back here. There's another one there. And another one there.
And that's that bag. Oh, there's another one in the bin. Right. Oh, I didn't put that through last time. Bin. I can't remember. Unless they've got one down there further. I'll have a drive around and have a look at the water for you all. Go for a drive. Haven't got to be anywhere today. Don't forget that challenge for the beer bottles. How many beer bottles can you fit in one hand? They can be full, empty, caps on, whatever. So yeah, don't forget that challenge. Let us know in the comments section how much you can, put, how many you can put in your hand. I'm, I'm trying to get up to six myself. So yeah, let us know. Just a little game that I'm trying to create. Spice the content up. So that's what we've got so far. I'll go and have a look, see if there's another bin. If not, well, we'll just close it up then. Take our gloves off. She's flowing pretty well over there. It's actually flowing in through here at the moment. Oh, see, as you can see, I double glove. Not easy to get off either. I struggle, but I get there in the end. Hands are free. Whew. Right, because we've got the stuff on here to put in yet, but we'll go and have a look, see if there's a, another bin. She's a long way down. That's almost about two meter drop there. Vertical drop down into the water. Flowing pretty quick. Now what I was saying is flowing in here and it's cut between the two bridges over here so I can't go down on the dirt road in between the in between the two bridges. Well it's the, the I can go between the two bridges on the tar on the black top, but between here you can't. Push bikers and walkers walk around here. You can't walk through there now. Unless you got a, got the galoshes on, no, gum boots, whatever you call them. But yeah, this is probably going to rise. I'm tipping probably another four inches. So where I'm standing, probably in another, by probably Friday, um, be underwater. So yeah, it'll probably only reach up to about here because of the rain we've had. But it all depends on how much they're releasing so, so much in, in one lot. Um, I didn't hear yesterday whether the gates were open couldn't hear it at all because there was just too much wind so yeah it's a nice area here it's almost like a bushwalk right on the park here especially when you got the river up here the um, town beach she's pretty much flooded down there take this down and have a look at that there is no extra bin so what you're seeing in the back of the vehicle is what we've got for the day I don't think that little acacia pine tree is going to last very long. You can see how his roots are going down into the water. He's trying to hang on to grim life. But you can actually see here that these trees are surviving with just their roots. No soil around them. It's amazing how a tree can survive. Probably in the next big, big flood, these two will probably go. Oh yeah, because it washes all the dirt and erodes the roots away. They're hanging on by over here, this one is. That one's hanging on by whatever underneath. But it'll probably go that way. 
Um, it's hard to say. It just depends on how much water's coming down. So yeah, it's very nice. Good to see some water coming down though. It all goes all the way down, down into the Murray, and out in the ocean. And through South Australia, we're in New South Wales, so it goes a long way, this river. I reckon, yeah, probably by Friday it'll come over this. It's already up to there. The little walkway they've got over here, it's flooded. Yeah, town beach is flooded. Most certainly flooded. Yeah, the walkway's flooded because they used to have the skip in right here. Yep. So this is part of the town beach. This part here where they drive down into it here and the actual sign for the walking track is underwater. And the bin I usually do It's lapping the bottom. This is because we had a lot of water, a lot of rain over the weekend. And then I'll come around to the boat ramp across the far side. The actual boat ramp is almost underwater. The bin that I use, another one that I go to here, it's not far off it. So basically they've got no town beach because it comes in around this area here where the bin is there and right back around to the other bin over this other far side. Right around there. So that's what happens there. Um, but the floating pontoon that they got is actually higher than that. I'm in water. <laughs> Bugger. I'm not watching where I walk, I'm watching the camera. <laughs> I'll walk backwards. It's actually the, the floating pontoons higher than their boat ramp. <laughs> I just about got drowned in, in my boots. <laughs> That's what happens when you're trying to do things without watching where you're walking. <laughs> but yeah, it's a fair body of water when you look at it here. We don't actually live here. I travel 30 k's to come and have a look at this and to do our bins so it's spectacular to see it in flood it's a fair body of water when you look across right across the thing so I like all the peace and peacefulness and the tranquility the birds chirping in the background yes you got trucks and whatever going past and that sort of thing so yeah Pretty nice, I reckon. This part here actually goes out to the road, this road here. Goes out there and out past the park and around the park. This is on the outside of the park. You can't actually drive from the park into here. You've got to go out of the park to come in here, but you can walk in, in here. As you can see, I've still got the car parked just over here with the boot up. Oh yeah, that's not, it's a nice area. Uh, I like it. The old crow crowing in the background up there. Sometimes we get a kookaburra. He's off flying now, he's gone. So I hope you like the scenic view of the river. Um, it just gives me clear thoughts Get, It's like having peace and tranquility. I like sitting there watching the water flow past and uh, That'd be nice to put a fishing rod in but anyway, this is what we got for the day It's pretty damn good I reckon but anyway, it's not a full load. I did predict a three-quarter load That's what we're going home with got a bit of scrap metal down here and a uh, doormat and a few other things in the front
So if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified for when there's a new video coming out. So yeah, I'm going to sign off there everyone. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheerio everyone.